guess what? It's time for a pattern review, but this pattern review is, I'm going to be calling it the hurricane preparedness video because Florida is under state of emergency for Hurricane Ian that will be hitting this, hitting us within the next day. So I'm trying to get this video done right before it hits. So I'm gonna call this the pre-hurricane collection, all right? Now, if that's some content you would like to see, keep on watching. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick pattern review to the skirt that I created for New Look 6659 as part of the skirt series. I don't know what number skirt this is, but I'm gonna say it's number nine, 10, 11, I don't know what number it is. But this is the pattern that I use, New Look 6659. Now before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button, and also turn on that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Hello, ciao, guten tag, aloha, hola, konnichiwa, waguan, bonjour. And if you are returning, you guys know what to do. Go get your coffee, your water, your tea, your hot chocolate, your juice, whatever you want to drink and come chill with me as I give you guys this quick pattern review for the skirt. Now, I do not have the skirt on. I still have the jeans on, which I did take pictures in the skirt as well, but it's just easier because you can't see it on me right now, right? So it was just easier to take it off, to keep the jeans on and do this pattern review. But I do have the skirt um, right next to me as well. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with the pattern description. All right, so for this pattern, New Look 6659, I did view A, which is the shorter version of it. I love the skirt, okay, I do. I was a little on the fence with this because the pleats is in both the front and in the back. So you have pleat on just one side and then the other side just have a zipper. So for the pattern description, it is a Mrs. Pleated Skirt with front and back pleats. It also has a, a side invisible zipper and a waistband. That is the description for this pattern and it also has two length. It has a shorter length and a longer length. Let's go ahead and talk about the sewing skill level. So for this pattern, I don't know what it's rated on the Simplicity website. I want to say it's probably rated as average. Don't quote me because I don't know. I did not look before doing this pattern review, but I would say that this pattern is easy, but you need to know how to do pleats. That's the only thing you need to know how to do in order to do this pattern. So for that fact, I want to rate this as intermediate beginner. And the reason why is because of the pleats. So would this be for a new to sewing beginner? No, I wouldn't say this would be like, if you just completely new to sewing and you have never done a pleat, I would not say this pattern is for you, but that is the sewing skill level for this pattern. Let's talk about Notion shoes. So for this pattern, the Notion news is just, I think it's a seven inch invisible zipper. Yes, yeah, seven inch invisible zipper. I think my zipper was probably nine inches and I had to cut it off at the bottom or something like that. But I use, the, I use longer zippers to keep the zipper pull out of my way. But all you need is a seven inch invisible zipper and of course your interfacing. That's all the supplies or notions that you need in order to construct this skirt. Let's talk about the fabric used. So for this fabric, I picked it up from House of Mami Wata. It is no longer in stock. I said that on my last video when I did the Gertie one shoulder dress. So if you look at that dress and you look at this fabric, then you will know that I did a three piece um, collection. So I did this top, which I'll talk about here shortly. I did the skirt and then I did the one shoulder dress and I love all three pieces in this fabric. It wasn't my intention, but whenever I get a six yard bundle of fabric, I try to use all the yardage as quick as I can once I start cutting into the fabric because it's hard to remember how much fabric is left. So that's what I do. You can do it as well um, if you decide to pick up six yards or nine yard or whatever your yardage is when you pick up fabric, all right? Let's talk about pattern pieces. So let me back up one. So that was the fabric used is from House of Mami Wata. I can't remember the name of the fabric, but I'll put it up on the screen, the name of the fabric and House of Mami Watcha is where I got it from. She no longer have this fabric. 
Um, but if there's something similar, I will put it in the description box below. All right. Now let's talk about pattern pieces. So pattern pieces is seven pattern pieces for this pattern. However, I only use six. And the reason why I only use six is simply because there is a pocket pattern piece, but you only put in a pocket on one side because the only the other side has a zipper. It's a little awkward to just have one pocket. So I just left off the pockets period because I'm going to need pockets on both sides, not just one side. OK, <laughs> so I just left it off. But uh, that is the pattern um, pieces for this pattern, seven pieces. Let's talk about the um, pattern sizing for this pattern. It comes in one envelope. It is a size 10 to 22. I cut the size 18, which is the largest size in this envelope. Well, it says 10 to 22. So I guess it's not the largest size, but it looked like it was the largest size in the envelope, but it was not. Okay. So sorry. So this pattern comes in size 10 to 22. The size that I cut is a size 18. However, I did have to size up at the head. So you guys know, I always size up the pattern, um, but a size 18 gave me a waist of a 34. I did not make any adjustment and the hips was a 45 and a half. I did make an adjustment. I sized the hips up by three inches, meaning that I graded out three fourths inch for the front and the back pattern pieces. And because of it's uh, one, one, you cut out one piece for each pattern piece, which made it very easy and quick to do. I did like that feature about it. Um, so sizing up a pattern, I'll get into sizing up a, a pattern in a different video, not this video, because I don't want to confuse anybody, but I did enlarge the hips by three inches to give me 48 and a half. So the measurements for my skirt is a 34 inch waist and a 48 and a half hip. Okay. Because my hips is a 45 and a half to 46 sometime. And I like that extra room when I'm working with cotton. So that's why I sized it up to a 48 and a half. Let's talk about modifications. Did I make any modifications? No, I did not make any modifications for this pattern. I just did it as is straight out of the um, pattern envelope. I didn't feel like it needed any modifications for this skirt. If I decide to do it again, I think what I would do is put some buttons or something on it just to accent it a little bit. But I do like this pattern for sure. All right, let's talk about, did it look like the photos are the drawing on the pattern envelope? Yes, it does. Um, I was just taken away a little bit because all the pleats are on one side. I thought that it gave a, like from the look of the pattern, I don't know if I just did not look at this when I selected this pattern to do for my pleated skirt, but all the pleats are on one side. And I thought that the pleats was going to go all the way around, but it did not, but I still like the skirt. So I'm still going to keep it. I'm still going to rock it in my collection. I'm still going to rock it out and about. I'm still going to do it. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about, are the instructions easy to follow? Yes. The instructions are easy to follow. There's nothing in the instructions that I feel like you're going to get tripped up on whatsoever. So yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty easy to follow the instructions. Let's talk about likes and dislikes. So I do not have any dislikes for this pattern whatsoever. It's all love. I like the pattern. It was super easy to sew. Yes. Yeah, so that's why I say this is more like an easy pattern as long as you know how to do the pleats because I felt like this was super easy to sew. I sewed this skirt up Sunday and it took roughly about three hours after cutting the pattern pieces and the fabric cutting the pattern pieces and the fabric took me about an hour to do. And then I took a long break. Okay. Um, to do some other stuff. And then I went back to working and it took three hours to do. So it's a very easy. sew as well, let's talk about first time experiences. Did I have in any first time experiences? No, not, not at all. I didn't have any first time experiences with this at all. I would sew this again. Like I said before, with modifications, would I recommend this pattern to others? Yes, I would recommend this to others for a quick pleated skirt. I think it would be great in your wardrobe. So let's talk about what do I stamp this pattern as? So I'm going to stamp this pattern as a four out of five only because I think if 
for the pleats, I love the way that the pleats are on this and I love pleated skirts, but I wish that the pleats went all the way around so you get that really nice detail of the skirt. But other than that, I do love this skirt. Now that I talked about the pattern review for New Look 6659, you may be wondering what top I have on. This top is a basic top, okay? It is McCall 7562, which is also McCall's 8061, which I did a sew along for the top. I also made it into a peplum. I also hacked it and made it into a lightweight jacket, which I will put on the end screen, the lightweight jacket on the end screen, as well as all the links for how I did this top McCall 7542, also McCall's 8061. So I'm not gonna give a full pattern review on this top because I have done it several times. I have made this top probably this pattern about five or six times, okay? So I will put those link in the description box below. This top also made an appearance in, um, or the pattern I should say, made an appearance in the Shine Bright Like a Diamond collection as well. It's the same pattern there, so I'll put that link in the description box below as well. Well, that's it for this pattern review. I hope you like. I will be heading out <laughs> on this video so don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time i upload a new video so just in case you do not see me post a video for a little while it's simply because like i said at the very beginning florida is under state of emergency for hurricane so just keep me and my family in your prayers i will be back as soon as the storm passes but until next time keep sewing Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the Benji? Working at 9 to 5, I had to go and feed the guy.